how does Michigan beat Georgia? Looking at the Orange Bowl, I think you got to have defense. You got to be able to put a stop to them. George Pickens got a little bit of playing time against Alabama. This is that time where they need him. They need a receiver. They need guys to catch the ball. You got to have good secondary play. And I think Michigan has that. I think that they've had it all year long. Of course, Georgia has had the same thing, right? But how does Michigan get to Georgia? You know, like, is it that hard? They're t- they're a pretty tough team. I mean, they're an actual contending national title team this year, which they haven't been since 2017, right? They didn't even win the division last year. I mean, Florida was amazing, but they took a step back, and they bring a lot of those guys back this year, and they have the probably one of the best defenses we have in college football um, going on the field on New Year's Eve. Going up against probably the best offense, one of the best offenses, I'd say, you know, Michigan and Alabama and Cincinnati, top three offenses, put them in whatever order. It's it's going to be a good game. But Michigan has the tougher challenge because as good as their offense is, so is Georgia's defense, right? I mean, you're talking about what we've hyped up all year long is the best defense, and what halfway through this season, even though it's looked great all year long with Cade McNamara, it wasn't until maybe halfway through the season, maybe around week five or six, where we said, okay, we got you, Michigan, but we want to see it against the bigger teams. They lost the game. They lost the rivalry game to, to Michigan State, but they've picked it up since then. They scored 42 on Ohio State. Their defense held... Um, Uh, What is a pretty decent, pretty good offense for Ohio State? They held them to 27 points. They beat Iowa. Iowa has, I've been saying this year that I think the two best defenses, regardless of where these teams are ranked, I think the two best defenses I've seen this year are Iowa's and Georgia's, right? The problem with Iowa is their offense. I've already talked about that enough. But this Michigan team scored five, I'm sorry, six touchdowns. 42-3 42 to 3 in the Big Ten title game. So how did they take what they did in the Big Ten title game? What they did against Ohio State, what they did on Maryland, what they did on like how does Michigan take that into the Orange Bowl of 7:30 Eastern on New Year's Eve, uh, December 31st of this year, we ring in the new year. How do they how do they take that and put it in Miami when they go play Georgia? Is it going to be tough? Of course it's going to be tough. Right? I know I've given Georgia a little bit of hell this year, and I apologize. But when you look at it, you know, I mean, Michigan's scoring 37 points a game. Now, Georgia's scoring 39. But I'll be honest, I mean, what defenses have they really faced that much? I mean, outside of maybe Alabama and maybe Clemson's defense, which Clemson's not that good, but their defense has been, if anything, the thing only keeping them in talks of – just, I don't know. Hey, they got some good stuff. But you're talking about this Michigan team that has 451 yards in total on the year in offense. That has rushed for over 200. That's passed for over 200. That scored 38 points a game. You're talking about this Michigan offense that's doing all that, and you think they can't go up and compete with Georgia's defense? You're insane. If Alabama was able to do it, Michigan can do it, right? I mean, Georgia's defense is amazing. Don't get it wrong, but they've got flaws. But I also will say this, and I don't want to turn this into a, you know, rip on Georgia rant, but seriously, now Georgia's defense is in a position they got to buckle down. They got to. Who, what offense, and this isn't a who have they played, but, but serious note. What offense has Georgia faced this year that is in the likes of what they had to play Saturday against Alabama or what they're going to face on New Year's Eve with Michigan? Seriously. Now, to their credit, 
maybe outside of Iowa, I would say the same that Michigan hasn't faced a defense like what they're going to face in Georgia. We don't know what's going to happen in this game. I'm not ready to predict this game yet. I'm going to get those out very soon. Uh, maybe I, I would like to try to get them out before Christmas um, and then take the holidays and just go ahead and just kind of relax during the holidays, maybe get a video or two out, just wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Uh, but I would like to, you know, get these preview videos out for these games uh, out very soon. But I think if you're Michigan, to sum this up real quick, you got the offense, you got the weapons, you got the quarterback, you got Jim Harbaugh with a great offensive mind, you got Hassan Haskins, Kate McNamara, you got to have explosive playmakers on the field. That's what Alabama did to Georgia. They had playmakers. Guys were actually catching the ball. The offensive line has stepped up. Their offensive line, and I said this about Alabama, and I'll say this about any team that plays Georgia, this, and if they do win this game, whoever they face in the national title, if you want to beat Georgia, your offensive line has got to play out of their freaking minds. Adam Anderson, Jordan Davis and company rushing you. They're rushing four or five guys off the line, coming at the quarterback, left and right, up the middle, all over the place. They're going to get in K. McNamara's face in this game. But what does Michigan have to do to prevent that? Well, you can't prevent it, but his decision-making is amazing. His receivers can catch the football. You make sure you got some good speedy receivers like they do, and they're going to have a chance to go out there and make big plays and, and, and expose the secondary of Georgia and put them to rest and put them to sleep. And then this defensive mind, soft Kirby Smart, is going to blow up in his face. Roman Wilson, Eric All. Uh, you know, Cornelius Johnson, those playmakers for Michigan, they got to be playmakers. Playmakers got to make plays. So how does Michigan beat Georgia? Well, I think if you go out in this game and you get off to a hot start, you go out guns blazing, firing, 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 and you don't take your foot off the gas. UJ, yeah, yeah, their offense has some struggles, but I'd still keep them off the field. If you can put points up, put points up, because otherwise you're just going to make the defense get pretty ticked off that they're giving up all these points, and I guarantee you they're going to get it together. They'll get it wrong. They'll get it together, and they'll try to stop you in ways. And quite honestly, Michigan, you know, their defense isn't all that, you know, the best. They're not bad either. But basically, Michigan goes into this game, has an amazing offensive plan, and they can put some points up, they're going to the national title. I'm telling you. It's all about firepower, hard-hitting offense, strong offensive line. That's really what it comes down to. Forget your defense trying to stop Stetson Bennett and company, which is good. You know, that, that will be a challenge. If I'm Michigan and I'm Jim Harbaugh, and you, you want to look at the threat of Georgia, you're looking at that defense, man. But they're not unstoppable. Alabama, Alabama was able to stop them. What do you think Michigan's going to do? Alabama gave you the blueprint to beat Georgia. This team that everyone was talking about ain't going to be stopped. Alabama told you how to do it. They showed you. You play like your life's on the line if you're an offensive lineman. And if you're a receiver, you get ahead. And you don't let the secondary of Georgia get ahead of you. You outrun them. You have great talent, great speed, great hands. Go catch the football. Make big, explosive plays downfield. You need touchdowns. And you can win this game. I think Michigan's very capable of doing it. But again, this game on New Year's Eve, this is going to be a huge one. This is not my official preview and prediction for it, but I figured I'd just share with you guys how can Michigan win this game. Offensive firepower plus an offensive-minded guru and Jim Harbaugh equals a successful Michigan victory over the Georgia Bulldogs. And I'll leave it there.